welcome to the first programming in the our tutoring service let there be light um we're st- gonna start with the with the methods with the methods um or in c sharp and then um i choose uh to start with chapter eight because um it simplifies everything that you could do in the other chapters. Um, I'm using uh, C. Shep, uh Blechenat's book, Professor Blechenat. Uh, um, with, a, with a method, you have an access modifier, a return type, a method name, and parameter. Um, please remember those names just because it's what we're going to be using. So let's first uh, declare our first method so our first method is always uh static especially if you're using a console and a, a console app format so it's it's also private which is it's only accessible in the in, inside this class and also eternal means um it's accessible in this class also so um private void so uh, we can say uh, method name. You write your method name here. Method name. Method name. Okay. Luckily enough, for a void method, it doesn't need a return type. It doesn't need a return type. So if I can write something like uh, um, hello world, and then how do I call a method? You just simply go to your main method. Just simply go to your main method. Let me remove this. You just simply go to your main method and you can write your method name and it's supposed to be here. Yes, there it is. And it doesn't have a parameter. Notice that it doesn't have a parameter. So you can call it like this. So uh, to actually uh, check your solution, that you are in the right track, uh, you can actually run the, the solution. So um, we're gonna explore um, all the simple methods that are used with, uh, with programming. So um, this, this is the first part. So um, I'm using Visual Studio 2022, which is, I'm not quite used with it. It has nice features, but uh, it has uh, high processing time, has, hence it's slow. So there is our hello. Ed. So with the method, the benefits is that it reduces uh, the number of, uh, it reduces repetition. It, uh, it, it orders your code into uh, um, a block of code. Like if you want to do an in dot pass for a lot of things, you can just write that code once and then continue calling that method. So we had a method name here, which has been called and hello world is our, is our output in the console format. So, um, what else can we do? Like we can add a parameter. We can add any type of parameter, but in this case, let's add a string parameter or um, even better yet, an int parameter, an int parameter. So let's call it IH. And what can you do with this? You can just say, uh, you, can sh- you can just say, write something, uh, George is, George is, George's age is, yes. George's age is. And then you can just come add your IH here. IH, and then that will be it. So you, see, you notice that now we have an error. It reads as there is no argument that's given for the parameter. So meaning that the method here, since it has a parameter, we need here a parameter. So the, the type of parameter is also important just because if we have an int age, it means that we need to input something that's an int. So I can input like 34 and you see 34 is an int, but if I input something with comma seven, which is a double, 
now the argument type. You see, it tells us cannot convert a double into an int. So you need to have that int inside there. So in the outcome, um, the solution is kind of slow, but um, the next method will be looking at strings. So static, uh, okay, let's just wait for this to load and uh, we'll take it from there. You see, so the output is like that. George's age is 34. So that's, that's, that's sums up a void. So you can have like a block of code that returns something that, um, that writes something in the panel. It doesn't return uh, something. The only method that return things at the static private, you can write the bool and int a double, but I'm just gonna do a template for all of them. Who method name. Uh, let's see if we're not gonna run into trouble with this one. Method name. Uh, so we have a method name. If we can go there, go to it. Uh, it says, not all code path returns a value, which is we need to return something since it's a bool. What do we return when we are considering a bool? We return a true or something that's false. So we can have a false also here. So since that false is a comment, we'll just leave it like that. So with, um, let me look at an int, static, private int, uh, and then we write method name. Method name, and then we do it like this. And then since it's an int, it needs to return something, and we can return a one for now, or even better yet, a zero. We can return a zero and you see a uh, program you oh, okay. We at saying well, see, um, we already have um, a method name, so we need to name it something. So let me just put a one there, you see. And uh, if you see this method name and this method name, they, they're basically the same thing. So that uh, realize with it, it introduces something called overloaded methods. So, we haven't yet done overloaded method. So let's just leave it as it is and just change it there and there. So with, um, what's another one? Static double, uh, static private. It needs to be private because it only needs to be accessible inside this class. Method name. Okay, and this. so method name three is it's method name three, and uh, it needs to return something. So it can return an it can return an integer or a double eighty eight or nine. Then this error must go. Uh, is it went? So you can have either of these methods for now, because you can have um, methods that re, uh, return strings array, but now that's later into stage when we have learned about arrays. So these are the types of methods that um, you, 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 you can find in your, oh, we forgot this last one, static int, uh, static, private string. We can return a string. So method name four. Cool. And then we are returning string. So in this case, let's just return an empty string. 
So we just have this type of methods that you could use. You could use a method, uh, an int with a parameter, without a parameter. You can use a bool, which returns a, bool, a true or false, um, depending on what you're testing. You can have an int, you can have a double, you can have a string. So that's the that, that, that that's that's nice about methods, just because you 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 reduce repetition and then you store your code in a block in, in a block of code. You see. So that's that. Um at the end of the chapter. We have this first exercise, which uh, see it says consider the main method and example output console application below. So this is what we need to do uh, to implement. And then this needs to be the output. So we can implement this uh, by saying, um, they say implement the methods, get int, get int, it returns an int. And it takes a parameter of a string. Hence, you see this uh, double quotation that it takes only one parameter. And this one also takes only one parameter. So get int doesn't have an overloaded method. And we have this one, display product, which is you can see that it displayed the product three times four is equals to 12. So it takes, it takes two integers. Remember, it takes two integers. And then we have any key, which is, it says press any key to exit. And that read, um, that read uh, episode. So if we can go back to our Visual Studio here, and just let me open up the main. So uh, let me go copy that again. Uh, so let me copy this. This is a partial solution that we have we have been given. So we need to implement it. So you first gonna see the errors pop up. You can remove this. You're just gonna see the errors pop up because we don't have a get int. We don't have a display any product and also we don't have any key. So we can also dispose, or let me just, let me just leave that down, down there. So what's going to happen is that, um, we uh oh it's running that's why it, it can recognize it uh so after it does running um it, it's gonna load and after it loads you should get an error or of what's happening there so we have this so we don't need this console we read key because it's gonna be implemented in that any key. So we can start with that method, any key, which is it's a static or oh, not capital letter, small letter. Static, um, what's this one? Static private. Now it's a void. Since it's a void, it's called any key. And it's the one responsible for the press any key to exit. So we're gonna have a string that's tapped uh, saying press any key to exit dot dot so we also have like another next line and you can see the other things display product doesn't exist get int doesn't exist also so let's go and get the int so static get oh static private private int get get int so does it take anything yes it takes a string parameter a string parameter let's call it as prompt so 
we have that. So, so again, in, to remove that error, let's just return one for now so that we can work through it. So we are getting an int and we returned one. So what happens? Uh, if, you re if you go back to what we're given, it also writes uh, the prompt, first number is that, and then you write it. You can see that because that three is written in line, this is a console, right? So when we go back, we need to have like a console, right? So console, uh, what's happening? Uh, console, not right. And then you have your tab first, tab. So it's the slash T. And then you can now add the, the S prompt. And then that's where it's going to be written. But now we need to convert anything that's going to come out from there. So we can pass it into an int. Pass.console. Not rely. So we're converting that string into an int. So um, there's an error here. So what's wrong? I don't see anything wrong. So I guess the, the machine is taking its sweet time to update whatever it's updating. So we have this method and let's wait for this. The name cons. I uh, know this is console. Oh yes, uh, the processing system, as I talked about, it's slow. So this this line of code is just gonna get, uh, it's gonna prompt the user to enter something and then returns. So the last the last method, the last method is called display. So it's static, uh, private. Private void. And then it's called display product. So we are displaying the product and we are taking two things int i and int j. Int j. So you, you need to remember on how it was written. So if we can look, we come and look and you find out that there is a three times four. So it, it writes a product is equals to all of this. So we, we, we need to have that on our code. So how do we best implement this? We can use a, a long string or we can just use a string output. String S output is equals to string format string dot format and then here we can write all that code it said product product is equals to what it's that's position one times what is position two and then it's equals to the product. So the product will be at position two. So we're done. So with the string format, you can see there it's taking argument at zero. Argument at zero, it's what? It's i. Argument at position two, it's j. And then argument at position uh, at position two, that was position one, but uh, we count with indexes. So it's J times I, and then you get the product. And then if we close this, we are, I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's test our product. Uh -huh. So F4. So it should give us exactly, exactly that from what we got here. The input, first number, second number, 
output product and then press any key to exit. taking forever to load uh, hopefully oh yes there it pops up so i should try to just compare it with this output so everything would uh, would be fine from there so it's asking us it's asking us for the first number uh, let me try to minimize this so that we can see everything it's asking us for the first number, which is the first number is three, enter the second number, it's four. And then output, press any key to exit. And then it didn't write our output. Why didn't it write our output? We go back to our code and find out why it didn't write our output. So when we come here, we first uh, need to fix the press any key. So it's, it's next line and then, oh, we tapped it in next line, which is, this is wrong. So your order of execution of code should follow uh, a definite uh, strategy. So that's done. And then the output needs to display something and we just didn't display anything. So when we're displaying the output, we just need to console right line this as output and then everything would be fine so let's run and start let's run it so we need to also come back and compare it from here so the product needs to be like that and we didn't write it but we called the method the line was executed but not actually displayed because we didn't tell it we didn't tell the machine to, to, to display it. So that's that. So it's taking forever to load again. Oh yes, there it is. It's coming. Yeah, let me just do this. So we should get something like that input because first number, first number is three, and then second number is four, and then the product. The product is slighted just because we didn't tap it. So let's just go quickly do that and so that uh, so our solution can be the same as this one. So we just need uh, this, yeah, this tab T. And then when we run this, we should just get the exact same uh, solution. So it's coming. Yeah, Visual Studio 2020, uh, 2019, it's actually better. It has a higher processing time. And oh, let me substitute this and then voila, then you got your things. So um, if you have any questions to comment, uh, but for now, um, goodbye.